Hello, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. Uh, this is the Quarter Mile DLC, where you take your average weird looking car and whack it down a drag strip, quarter mile of a drag strip, in the fastest time possible. Last time out we were doing it with this weird executive car. It's not weird really, but it's a bit weird for a drag strip. So let's see who wants to drag strip their car next. Okay, here we go. Looks like a normal saloon car. 13.9 seconds required. Uh, yeah, normal five-door saloon. Okay, well, we're going to assume, as usual, that all its parts are in good order, and let's go and see what time we've got. I've already forgotten the time it was required. 15. Why is that this way? if I remember that by the time we get to the garage. 1707, 1707. Yes, I do remember. Repeating it continuously to yourself works. As long as you don't talk about that, in fact, in between. 1707. So, if that was 14, we'd need to knock 3. So just over 3 seconds. We're 23 grand. Sounds pretty much like the last two jobs, where basically I'm going to replace... Oh, let's see what engine it's got. Replace everything. I'm not going to bother with the exhaust this time, like last time. I don't think there's any point. It's a V4, as I like to call them. Even though it's not a V. It's just a 4. Straight 4. Right. So, this is where this mode has fallen down slightly for me. It's just basically... There's no fixing involved. Um... Uh, yeah, let's find that. And on the exhausts, fuel pump. Oh, I've got to get rid of my bloody inventory again. Hey ho. Uh, yeah, four of these. Uh, I want a throttle. So it's basically just how much money have I got, how much time do I need to get rid of, and then sort of balancing the two vaguely. I mean, at the start it was a bit more interesting because the money would run out, whereas now it seems that I just every time I look I've got more than enough money. Which isn't, you know, I quite like my games fairly straightforward and easy, but hmm, there's, there's straightforward and easy and then, then there's, you know, putting shapes into shaped box holes, you know, like for a baby where you've got a square, a circle and a triangle hole, and a square and a circle and a triangular sort of cube things, well not cubes obviously, play lumps and you've got to see which one goes in the right hole. Well, oof. although it's fun trying to get the triangle into the square, it, it's just never going to happen, so... Just stop trying. The shiny shine. And uh, let's take that off as well. Place that also with its shiny shine version. Let's see if we can stick these little... doohickeys in their holes. Case of careful mousing and patience. One of which I'm fairly good at, one of which I'm really not. I'll wait for you to decide which is which. It's not particularly obvious because my mouse skills are pretty poor on this. The mouse works in a strange way on this game. That's, that's what I'm claiming anyway. Right, so I need to remove these, swap the polarity. Oh, that reminds me of the end of The Simpsons where... Uh, was it the monorail one at the end? I can't remember. The, the town's done something daft and at the end there's the escalator to nowhere or something with people just sort of standing on it as if you would normally on an escalator. But at the end, of course, it just tips them off into nowhere. And as they get to the top, they're sort of going... Whoa, whoa, whoa as they fall off the end. And I believe that's the one where Leonard Nimoy appears as Spock, sort of saying, you know, I, my work is done here. And uh comic book guy or someone says, but you haven't done anything. Haven't I? And, uh, and then the uh, transporter, the teleporter noise as he disappears. Yeah, transport, that's what it was called in, uh, in uh, Star Trek. That's that one, isn't it? Star Trek, yes. Haven't I? Done? 
Right. Um, 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 dum, dum, dum. Did I take the starter motor off? Probably not. No. Okay. And then we can take off the axles. I should have just brought the bloody wheels off those here as well. In fact, I think I will. Well, I've got all that money. Yeah, no. This isn't a strange accent. Uh, I forgot what make a car it is as well. It's a Vulcan family, is it? Maybe no. Vulcan family was mm, not, not the MPV. Good grief. Because that's that done, uh, remind me of the make and model a Revton Wind. <laughs> yes, I know it's wind. Revton Wind. Um, yeah, two of them, please. Uh, no, don't put them straight back on. That would be foolish. Because I need to. Oh, I want to rise it up, don't I? Whee! Oh. There you go, just giving the car a little joyride. Let's change for it, it's usually the other way around. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Okay. What is this earthy Kuma? As people often say when I tell a joke. Right. It's a clutch pressure plate. That means in the vocabulary of people these days that's a last minute win type situation. The odds are against you. It's a clutch situation. How are you gonna do oh my word you won. Clutched it, I guess, or something. Like clutching at straws? I don't know. I don't know where these things come from. I used to care. <laughs> Age and the fact that you can find out anything you need to know the on the you know, tapping a few keys means it doesn't really seem to have the same interest in knowing everything. You just need to know how to find things rather than how to rather than the actual things themselves. Knowing how to search these days is much more important than actually having information. Right. Of course when the electricity turns or the internet turns off, it all becomes a little bit oh, I wish I knew that thing. Because knowing how to search for it doesn't help when the internet doesn't work. Yes, that's right. You think you'd put on some shiny, exp you know, or cool looking bolts if you're paying five grand for a new wheel that looks as cool as this? What am I? Anyway, mumble butter. Just wondering why I was moving the camera around when I could see the actual position from where it started. Habit. Um, no more parts to assemble. Let's tune that muffer. Oh. Tunes. Um. That's a nice one. That has. Right at the top. Again, couldn't give a flying fig actually. I'd, I'd like to know how many oomphs I've added to it. But I'm not prepared to pay the price in clicks and time. So there we go. Once again, no idea how much time I need to get to, but it doesn't really affect my performance. It's just nice to know how well you do it. The excitement is palpable. Did we make the time? Did we? Did we? Did we? We didn't. 13.9. No idea what we got that time. Okay, so I might need some more exhausts. 
or whatever. Did I even put the fuel pump out? I don't know. So 30... Oh, I've already forgotten. Thir was it 13 point... No, why can't I press escape to make that go away? 13.9, yes. Okay, right, so 13.9. Let's try that again. With some membrane. They call him the rememberer. Oh, the rememberer. He remembers things like the lyrics to the song. Wax some wax bits on. Okay, let's wax some extra exhaust bits on then. It's uh, pretty normal looking exhaust. Twenty nine grand. I actually managed to spend some. Don't go as far as the manifold, can't quite be bothered, so I don't want to buy that. No, in the middle, no. Let's buy the rear, yes. Muffler, rear, yes. Uh, oh, is that all? What do you buy exhaust, rear? Yeah. Exhaust by middle. Let's see how far that gets us. First, let's get wedged behind the, the bar and the. Uh, Thing there. Right, let's have a look at the fuel below. We didn't change the fuel pump. Right, let's look on that a few times. Yes, shiny and black. Okay, so let's be Avenue. Oh, we have to take off the muff. That's the muffler middle next. I oh, might as well do it. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to come back and do it. Muffler middle. We we're so close, I don't believe we really need it, but. Gives us 3%. It's a worthy addition. Oh, hello. I used to do that all the time, but then I got out of the habit. But it appears I've got into the habit again. bit on still. Oh, in fact this is the bit I actually want to take off, so. Uh. I already mentioned how it feels like a bit of a TARDIS under here. I feel like there's much more exhaust going on than there is length of car, but... Whatevs! Whatevs! Oh, go on you little bugger. There we go. Just pat, pat it in. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. All the way. There we go. Let's go all the way. Ding, ding, chick, chick, ding, ding, chick, chick. Anything to get the rocket files out of my head, to be honest. It's been weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's a brilliant series, but my word, I have to, I have to not listen to the credits as much as possible just to try and reduce the effect that the uh, that the theme tune has. Right, where am I? Where's me washboard? Oh, there we go. Let's go and tune it up again as we've added some bits. Into the wild wild wire shop. Let's program the EEP. Why is it in the same place that I left it before, eh? Eh? I told you. I told you. I asked you. I told you. Is that... Can I do it? No. Okay, you have my usual double click on each of these. Straight to drag strip, where's that option, eh? I'll load this in first. Which magically which magically disappears few locks, I edit it out, but ugh. I have to sit here enjoying it. Oh yeah. <laughs>
13.9 we needed. And so it says, yes, 13.9, which we're very close to. We didn't seem to make much difference with the extra 4 or 5 percent we've added, so let's see where that'll go. Start. Oh, it's point one of a second. You kind of feel like in, in the vagaries of random that it would happen, but let's get one more try before we then take off all the exhaust and put on the few bits we did before. So basically what I did to the couple before the last job where I changed all this stuff is probably what I should have done to this one. But there you go. You live and maybe you learn. Or if you're me, you live and you forget and you live a bit more and you forget again and generally find out you know what you're doing. Okay, so we want this bit. This is this rear, is it? Oh, middle pipe. Exhaust pipe middle. Connects to the cat converter. The cat converter connects to the exhaust pipe front, probably, or something. The exhaust pipe front connects to the cat, uh, the manifold. Source manifold, yes. So we need to drop it and then buy the bits. Okay, so we want a cat an exhaust manifold, an exhaust pipe front, and an exhaust pipe middle. Uh, and to avoid falling behind the pole. And there we go, let's take this out. Alright, here we go. Bolty, bolty, bolty. Oof! Alright, reverse polarity and add the shiny new one. Right. 
someone on the forums actually complained that the model you can see in the bottom left there on the wall, she was actually wearing clothes and that you wouldn't see that in a normal garage. It's like, well, no, but let's try and be inclusive, shall we, and not just objectify the women. And there might be some women who want to play this. So just because car mechanics are generally a bunch of loutish misogynist types, no need for the rest of us to be. It's a simulator, after all. We can, uh, we can take the best bits and ignore the crap. If you want naked ladies, go somewhere else. Plenty of places that provide access to that sort of shit. Etc. I'd rather there was fewer bits and pieces in the garage, to be honest, and then it loaded bloody quicker after you'd been out on your runs or whatever. Who am I to thingy what's up? Since garage. Okay, so that should really have given us the oomph to get down the track in the required time of I think it was 13.9? Right. Turn to the right a bit, stay to the left, too much. That's probably a point one of a second. Alright. Well, if it's 13.9, we win. So, looking for 13.9, yes we were, awesome, and it's ready to go. There we go, so thank you very much for watching, this is Invoice 12 of 17, I think. So we're getting there, uh, it had a nice easy middle bit, and now it's starting to get a little bit trickier, only mainly in the fact that we need to change more parts, so it's not terrible, it's just time consuming. Good, well thanks again for watching, and I will be back with more soon. Woo, woo. Well, it looks like you can see through the handle there, look, because it's reflecting something, but it's reflecting the floor from inside and below the level of the windows. And it's not really reflecting, is it? It's just showing me what's there. I can see the drawers now, yeah. There we go, that's exciting. Someone can put that on the bug forum if they care, because I don't, and I'm out of here. Bye.